Hello guys, welcome back to the crew calling all units. Summit qualifier, uh, the main street is still going. I already posted footage of the Wednesday warm-up where we quickly uh, went over uh, all the events that need to be done. Um, Thursday time matters where uh, I've put footage of the brand time attack and uh, Friday floating for the drift trial. We're floating on the road, so sort of. that's the idea behind it. This video is called Saturday Skills, and for some reason I think this might go, uh, well, have some views. Might be shared here and there, it might even go viral. Because there's, uh, once again, skill tests, as always, so much bullshit going on, that it's really getting ridiculous. So I'm getting uh, sick of it, I'm posting this, I really hope the devs are seeing this, I'm gonna put a link to it uh, directly to one of the devs. Because this is uh, getting a bit too annoying now. But uh, first thing first, um, there are three skill tests in this qualifier, and um, as usual, two of them pretty much count for uh, quite some points in the overall ranking, and that is a bit of a problem. First of all, uh, the normal one, which also I think is normal for the overall, it doesn't give you superbly uh, high points or anything. The other two, the speed and the jump, might give you some more points, depending on your ranking. But, uh, I say normal one, you will uh, understand later what I mean by that. The normal one is the slalom, we will start with that one. A drag car on wheel settings, and we're gonna do a slalom test, as we always do it. Nothing special about it. Uh, except for the score, I always show my scores. So, here we go. Not that evident with a keyboard, but it works. But talking of a keyboard, it's going to come into play later on. Main issue here, of course, as always uh, in these things, is not to heat up the tires or you will spin out. And I'm pretty close a few times of uh, overheating them, but in this run I get it. Hit the nitro here at the end to get an extra gate. Yep. Uh, wheel settings and manual gear I am on here. Scoring 10,767, which is good enough for, uh, what is it, 6th place in this uh, event. 2nd on the friends list, and 6th uh, overall, at this moment. Uh, these sort of scored the same, uh, 11,000 and more, they did 1 or 2 gates more. That's pretty simple. That's for the slalom. Now, now we come to uh, a bit more normal issues. The jump. Normal jump. As you can see, there are some players around, and one of these players uh, is going to give me some uh, slipstream here or there. Well, he didn't know about it. He was just driving there, and I followed him and got some slipstream of it. Uh, if you do this by yourself, Whatever car you use, uh, you can score 14, 15, 16,000, something like that, maybe. If he uh, decides to move here. He's not going to do anything, is he? Ah, there we go. Oh, let's see what we get here. 14,700 points. It's kind of a normal speed. A uh, normal score and all that. Let's try again. See if we can get a bit more, maybe. A bit annoying that you... Uh, there's a one of the car wrecks there. For those who haven't found it yet, there's one here behind the stairs. There's another player there, standing in my way. There we go again. Oh, now I do get some uh, slipstream from that guy there. What do we score here? 
16,495 points, good enough for 6th uh, place at that moment, but that will change. So far for the normal stuff in this thing. Um, 208. Now, if you go to the ramp, there is something on that ramp there. You cannot see it. Don't ask me what it is. You cannot see it. It is something invisible. And it actually makes you uh, fly up higher than you normally do. And that means you will go higher, you will are uh, longer in the air, and you will get more points. can be anything from 17,000 up to, uh, I have one friend scoring 25,000 uh, by getting that. What is it? I don't know. We have been close uh, to the to the ramp. There is nothing you can see there. There is nothing you can see that you think, okay, it's there. Some people get it driving to the left of the ramp. Other people are getting it driving to the right of the ramp. But you will see the idea here. Um, let's see, I think it's here. Yeah, here we go. We jump. Up, there you go. And you fly, suddenly you fly higher than normal. And you land further. In this case, I score, um, let's see, 18,178. Um, but my best record here was 28,800. Uh, exactly the same. I'm driving, maybe a bit more speed or something. I hit something on that ramp, but I don't know what it is. Uh, nor my friends, they have the same 22, 20,000, 22,000, 23,000. And we don't know what it is. There is something in that ramp which makes you go up higher, which makes you go uh, fly further and score more points. That's possibility number two. But don't ask me what it is, once again, because I don't know. It's something in the ramp. You do 30 uh, jumps, you fly normally, you score 14, 15, 16,000. And then once or twice, you will get that extra bounce up, and you don't know what it is, and you score 18, 90, or even 20,000 plus. And then, possibility number three. Um, according to my thing there, I need to look at uh, six minutes and something. Let's put it here somewhere. And then you can also be lucky. And just like last week in the jump, where we had to hit that uh, white post on, uh, on the long jump, and you can bounce up again. It's the same story here. There is lots of things going on in that uh, industrial harbor thing here. There are fences and all, and you can also bounce on the fence, apparently, as you will see here. Here we go. We fly up. I'm going to hit the fence for some reason, because I flew to the right suddenly, and bam! I fly up again, landing, and only the second landing counts, not the landing on the fence, resulting in 23,800 points, which is good enough for fourth place. As you will see, uh, if I show the uh, second in the friends list, uh, don't know if I go, yep. Yeah. Uh, the guy in first, 26,400. Uh, I loaded all the ghosts here, and uh, he does exactly the same. He hits uh, the fence there as well. The guy in second and the guy in third, um, they have that thing going on the ramp, whatever it is. Um, and they fly higher, and they also, it's, it's that always, it's something about hitting. It's either on the ramp you hit something, or you hit the fence, and you score, uh, in this case, 23,800 points. Other people are scoring uh, 26, 22, and so on. You see the list here. Uh, it's all done the same. In a normal jump, even with some slipstream, you can say uh, 15, 16, 17, 18,000 points. That's it. All the rest is done by um, hitting something here or there. Or get that thing on the ramp, whatever it is, that makes you fly higher. If you do a 10, 15, 30 jumps, you will have it once or twice. And even then, uh, it depends on the speed that you have, because also with that um, fly high bug thing on the ramp there, uh, let's call it that, you can also score, uh, as you saw, uh, 18,000 points. I had 21,000 once, and now I hit the fence here, and I scored 23,000, which gives me a new high score. 
That's for the jump. But that's yeah, that's kind of okay. You hit something, you bounce up again. But it's a bug, of course, because normally it should give you the landing on the fence, and then you score sixteen, seventeen thousand. Then we come to the more biggest bullshit of this current qualifier: speed test, speed skill. Um, the first one, nothing wrong with it. I can even put some uh, volume up here now. It's uh, well, it's nothing wrong. It's one of those uh, hundred fifteen in ups speed skills and um, what you need to do here is uh, use a drag car. If you don't use a drag car you're not even gonna make the gold or the platinum even in this thing. Uh, bronze, mid on slip team, maybe you can get silver but that's it. You're in New York here somewhere, you have to fast travel a couple of times or um, have lucky that you won't have any traffic but eventually traffic will load as you see. I get one car here, another one here and then you here you have the end of the road and that is it. And we score, let's have a look. 8,282. Uh, 8,282. Keep that score in mind, William. Because a lot of people have 8,200, 8,300 points. And uh, every hour we were dropping with that score here. We were dropping 5, 10, 15 spots every hour. And um, I think it was... So it the, the qualifier is running for like, what is it, 3 days now? And it was only good enough for um, gold. Not even a platinum medal, it was gold. Because a lot of people are doing this piece skill and not a platinum medal. So uh, I was looking at the scoreboard and I thought, well, something is up here. Because uh, there were people scoring 9,000, um, 10,000, 11,000. And I thought, how is this possible? Most people, I mean, uh, it's the end of the road there. It's a speed skill. Um, there are two conditions there. Seeing it is a speed skill, uh, you need to stay on the road, within the white lines on the outside of the road, at all times. And uh, seeing this is a special speed skill, meaning that uh, it's meant for drag cars, you need to be above 250 kilometers an hour or 155 miles an hour at uh, all times. So 8,200, 8,300, something like that. Everybody who is scoring over 8,500 points is was doing something which gave them more points. And so, uh, and people s uh, suggested to me, well, it's possible that some are using Alt Enter. Alt Enter, uh, what is Alt Enter? That's pretty simple. That is a shortcut, which uh, if you play full screen and you press Alt Enter on your uh, on your keyboard, it puts your game in uh, windowed mode. You can put uh, you can put your game on full screen, windowed mode, or uh, borderless. One of the three. Normally, I always play full screen. And yeah, that is a bit strange. As you can see here, uh, I have the friends list up here now. 8,100, 8,200, 8,300. Uh, my teammate has 11,200. I will explain how he gets there. I will even show you how he gets there. Because I will actually gonna beat him here now, uh, in a second. But it's social bullshit. It is, um, as you can see, what did we score? Uh, 8,282. Well, we just would have made, uh, with that score that I showed there, I, I would have been on 138 or something. But uh, one of my other friends has 8,260, he only has a gold medal in this skill test. But people are scoring uh, 11,000, 10,000, uh, 9,000, and you name it, 8,900. And that's only for the top 25 that I can see. 25th spot is 8,832 points. But how where where can you score more points if uh, if you're on the end of the road 8200 8300 is all you can get and then there is no more road you can crash and then you have like one or two seconds left and then you can start again but you need to be at 250 kilometers an hour or 155 miles an hour at least to score points so you're not getting extra points when you start for those two seconds so that's not it so it had to be something else 
and that's where the alt enter comes in once more alt enter put your full screen game into a um, windowed mode but apparently in a speed skill if you use that thing you can uh, get more points of it apparently which is uh, of course once again just like the bike glitch in the hill climb it's total bullshit but it is a problem if you play for a top 5 and you don't know what's going on we didn't understand it uh, we were scoring 8200 8300 some of my friends and that was it because yeah it's you only have this one road and at the end of the road it is it's over no matter what you try it is over so um let's have a quick look I just are uh, on manual other than that I'm just on keyboard settings here I'm using the RT because my CTR for some reason it breaks out on the bumps here so uh, let's try one more forward gear I hit the nitro at one point uh, I don't know I think I hit the nitro here uh, yeah after the starting gate try to control this car and then here you are at the end of the road and that's it. 8,244, what was it? Let it set, let's have a look. 8,244 points. Okay. But as you can see, the best record is 10,866. So, how did this happen? Well, that's where the alt enter comes in. Which is total bullshit. It is, um, it's a game bug, that's what it is. Because Alt Enter is a shortcut for uh, switching your game from full screen to uh, a windowed mode, in case you need to go to your desktop or something. But apparently, it gives more score if you do it in a skill test. So, let's see. At the end of the road, we're going to go off throttle and uh, press Alt Enter to go to a windowed mode. Oh, yeah, no, maybe not this time. Because I hit a few parked cars. So, let's retry. This time we do have a few, although it's night, but we do have a few cars. And that means that you can hit the cars and have to retry again. And here we go again. This time I hit the nitro before the starting gate, I think, to get some more speed. Yep. There we go. I'm doing 570 or something like that. At the end of the road, you will not see the, uh, the screen's change here. I go off throttle here and I hit Alt Enter. There you go. And you crash into the wall. And I hit Alt Enter again to go back to full screen. And now let's have a look at the, uh, at the points, shall we? 11,471 first place now this is total bullshit if the devs are watching this you can remove my score but uh, if you do so make sure you remove all scores above 8,500 because they are all doing the same uh, what's the difference in the points in 11,000, 10,000, 9,000 and uh, 8,800, 8,900 the difference is probably speed uh, speed how fast are you going um, when are you using the nitro before the starting gate after the starting gate when do you press the alt enter it all depends on that i guess but it's also bullshit that you can just by going into a windowed mode going from full screen as i'm doing now to windowed mode then you can see it it's uh, the uh, it's more brighter now if i press it again to go back to the full screen mode you will see it will be uh, more dark again do it here there you go now I'm back on full screen that's sort of what you do if you uh, if something happens and you need to go to desktop you do alt enter and you go to you go into a windowed mode and then you can uh, do some stuff on your uh, on your desktop and then you press alt enter again and you go back to full screen to play the game but I never knew uh, it was possible to use this bullshit uh, shortcut or bug or whatever you want to call that in a speed skill but that apparently it is and a lot of people knew about it 
because that's how where these scores from 10,000, 11,000 plus came from. But I find it total bullshit, and because I find it total bullshit, I also want to report it uh, once more. But yeah, we can only hope that the devs are actually listening this time. I already reported the bike glitch once with a video, but yeah, they didn't do anything about that because the hill climbs are still in the qualifiers. And now you have this uh, speed skill bullshit. And uh, a lot of points depend on it for the overall. So you actually need to do this shit to get into the top 5, top 10, top 15 of the overall ranking. Because otherwise you will be stuck with 8200 or 8300 points on this uh, speed skills. As I said, a little bit of a um, controversial video that will definitely be the case. Some might like the video because uh, I actually show what's going on. Others will probably dislike because they consider it uh, cheating or they uh, are a little worried that they can ask if they fix this because they are using it for a long time already. I don't know if it's possible in other speed skills, I don't know, but for this one that do know, you can get 8200, 8300 points maximum if you just drive till the end of the road and then where does all the other com points come from for the top 25, 50 or even top 60 who scored 9, 10, 11,000 points? Well, I have just shown you. So, hello devs, speed skill, get rid of them because this is what's happening. Hill climbs, the bike glitch, I already showed that before. That's what's going on in these qualifiers. These qualifiers need an update as soon as possible, just like the summit itself, and all these uh, bullshit situations, they need to go out. If they can't fix it, that's pretty simple, then they come up with other events and they leave the skills tests out of the summit qualifiers and summit. Uh, for the hill climb that can easily be solved. If they put 50,000 points on the flag, then people will actually drive to the flag and not use the bike to score uh, 15, 20, 25,000 points. The drift, people are doing circles as I showed uh, last qualifier. So also there is a problem. Yeah, we need some sort of new competition bug free preferably because this is getting a little bit ridiculous i will see you guys in the next one and bye for now